chair is. Is anybody yeah, there? Yeah, I, I put that there. There's my hand. Um, oh, okay. I, I set it up that way so that you'll be able to see the kids. Oh, my gosh. Come. Is that a classroom or a lecture? This is, Good this Lord. This is our lecture hall. <laughs> so I, I want them to know where to sit when they come in. That's so interesting. I, I, I thought I was teaching in a classroom. That's that's impressive. Wow. Well, I actually I had to sell my soul to the devil to get this room today. So that's <laughs> <laughs> much appreciated. Oh, oh they are so, so for, excited. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for cutting those stuff that um those prompts up. By the way, I think that'll really help. Not a uh, problem. And they have what I did is I photocopied everything that you sent me in like a packet for them. Mm -hmm. So what just if you want to refer to it as you know this page or you know it has this on it. Ooh. I know that you're gonna put it on your screen. Yeah, yeah, let me try that actually. Um okay. I have that last poem that I couldn't find when I when I sent you all the stuff, but I'm gonna okay. start a screen share here. So can uh, you see that? Yes, it's perfect. Yeah, so that's the example poem. And then I'm I guess I'm just gonna have someone read it like a volunteer or and if no one wants to do it then you can you or I could do it. Sure. Yeah. So I'm gonna quit out of that screen share. That's perfect. Okay. And I'll show you, I'll move the camera so you can see. This is what they, can I get up there? I have you on our big screen TVs oh up there God. so they can see you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm, I can't hear myself, which is good, because that's, okay. that's sometimes a problem on these big video chats. So that's, that's a good thing. Absolutely. Um, can, am I coming through all right, um, yes. video and audio-wise? Yes, and can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you just right. great. Um, maybe just like testing one thing while we still have the time. If you could go sure. up into like one of the back rows or or midway through, and then and then see how good I can hear you, because I don't want to be able to like not hear the people in the back if we do question right. and answer. Right. Let me come into the frame here. There I am. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, perfect. I will let them go probably past this row. I'll kind of have them squeeze in here, okay. so you can hear them and they can. Feel like they don't have to yell. See what? Yeah, good thing. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's just the craziest thing. So I realized in first period today that we we're talking about um, 1:35 Eastern Standard Time, not Pacific oh. Standard Time. <laughs> so I, I had to pull a last-minute excuse out since I get out of class nice. really fast. Yeah. Oh God, sorry. Otherwise, I yeah, that would that would have almost derailed it. Oh God, that's funny. Well, I yeah. appreciate you taking. Um, an absence day today. Oh, no problem at all. All I need to do is fill out a form, so it's no big deal. Oh, God, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. we are, and just so you know, I, I'm not, I don't want you to freak out. Um, our principal is probably going to pop in just to kind of check out what we're doing. And um, some people from, like, the library staff, our librarian is super interested and excited in what's going on here today. So if you see, like, random adults popping in and out, that's who it is. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. I've definitely read for more intimidating people. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and and then just so you know, this is this is on yeah. air, so it, that means it's going on my YouTube account once it's done. But we're not gonna. Um, Jeanette and I talked it over, and we're not gonna like publish it publicly or anything, because that would okay. be that would be a whole hoopla with like permission slips and everything. So right. what we're just gonna do is um is like keep it for like maybe future NSVP like training purposes. Sure. Um, where am I looking at, by the way, on, on the big screen? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my camera right now. Is that good, or should I, like... Yeah, no, you're good. All right. Okay, they are, they're making the announcement right now, so the bell's going to ring, and then there's a five-minute passing period, so the kids will get in here, and then we'll start right at 1.35. Okay. And then, yeah, um, um, what was I... Oh, I have kids from previous semesters that are going to come in as well, but they have to report to their ninth grade class, and then... Yeah. Come yeah. So there'll be a little bit of movement. Um, you already have that one. That's the one I gave you yesterday, but you need one of these. You have that one too. <laughs> you have that one too. Oh, okay. All right, take one of these. And then sit somewhere. Can you see the little like camera where we are? I think so. I can see some sort of protuberance up there in the back rows or, or whatever. Keep going, keep going. There hey. go. All right. Hey, first to class. Nice it's job. Okay, I'll stay right here. Okay. <laughs> sort of in the frame. Oh, I'm not? No, see? Can you see down there? There we are. All right. <laughs> All right, so, Nate, I'm going to step out and corral the children as they come in and get them okay. as quickly as possible. So I will be out of the frame momentarily. Okay. But 
free to, you know, chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Great. Yeah. As as of now, I can only see you. Hi. What's your name? Hi. I'm Sarah. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm the only one in here right now. I came early. Great. Great. Let's do this one on one. Wait. Yeah. Um. What what's what's your grade like? What grade levels are, are in this class? Um. This is an elective, so I'm a senior, but we also have juniors and sophomores in this class. Oh, very cool. No yeah. freshmen. Um, no, our high school only has grades 10 through 12. Oh, that's weird, huh? Interesting. Yeah, it is. Where's okay. everybody else? You scared them off? Yeah, the bell just rang. I just came early. Yeah. What's up? Cameron, you got the in the frame there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I can only see like. Five or so cares out of that. I don't know. I don't know how big this lecture hall is. I was kind of like expecting to teach in a classroom. Oh, okay. This is this is kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I'm seeing some attendance. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> so I'm not gonna have time to do names later on because what? Like, there's like 40 people in this class. Uh, what? There's about like 30. There's like 30. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like, okay. All I hear is chairs right now. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Just, just doing some preliminary. OK, great. Uh, everyone in the back, can you hear me? Yeah. Sweet. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just getting some uh, some quick interference on the call. So I'm going to, I'm just going to quickly try to do that. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> OK, wait, 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 wait. Let me just ask this. How, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big is my head on the projector? Because I'm, I'm like a big talking head, right? You're fine. <laughs> it's pretty big. How's my hair? Is it good? It looks like crap. Ouch. Oh, terrible. Is, there, is everyone awake yet? It's like later when you guys are, so but it's still like morning here, so I'm I'm still pretty tired. So I can see like um like 
15 maybe or so people, but like, are there more beyond like the reach of where my camera is? Or? Okay, cool. Like if I do that? Yeah. Oh, hi, Mrs. Meany, is that you? I'm back okay. here. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know where you went. I did that and it did it like it doesn't like that. Yeah, no, it's no problem. I don't I don't need to see everybody like I would love to see all your smiling faces, but not a not a huge deal. I'll try to I'll try to move it too as we're going along. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna intro really, really fast and then I'm gonna turn things over to Nate. Um but up here on the screen, I know I've already told the kids that I have currently who you're talking to, and I'll let him introduce himself as well. But right now it's working, and we're going to go with it. If you have the packet of stuff that I gave you yesterday in class, you can get that out in your notebook. If you weren't in class, because I don't have you right now, there's stuff down here on the table that you can snag. But I'm going to turn things over and, and let Nate do his thing, and I'll turn the camera kind of periodically so you can see everybody on occasion. Okay, sounds okay. good. Yeah. All right. Hey, this is awesome. I did not expect to be teaching so big a crowd. Welcome, everybody. Um, where's, the, where's the new students at? Raise your hands. Who is my new semester? Yeah, who's new semester? Yeah. Okay, so a lot of you. Where's, where's the old crowd? I think that's... Woo! Yeah. There you go. Stalwarts. I like that. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Okay. Having a good morning? That's kind good of good afternoon. Right. I, yeah. God, I, I still can't get used to the time difference. It's weird. It's like, because for, for me, it's still 10 o'clock. And I'm missing school, so, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, it's 1041, so let's get started. We have, um, I have a pretty packed agenda, and I don't know if I'll be able to get through everything, but I'm just going to play by ear and uh, see how long everything takes us. So, hi, everybody. First of all, like, honestly, thank you so much for being here. This is awesome. My school doesn't have a creative writing class, so to get to teach one in New York, across the country, is pretty special, pretty cool experience. Um, and yeah, so like Ms. Amini said, I'm, uh, I'm Ms. Nathan Cummings. I'm the national student poet for the West Coast. And basically what that means is back in my junior year of high school, I submitted to a, um, a contest called the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. And I won a poetry medal on the silver poetry medal on the national level. And what I didn't know at the time was that that put me in contention for something new called the National Student Poets Program. So this is like basically a program that um, that puts high school seniors and and sophomores and juniors it doesn't really matter, but um, but high schoolers in positions basically like as youth poet laureates around the country. So right now there are five of us. As as I said, I'm the one representing the West, but there's also ones um, from the Northeast, the Southeast, the Southwest, and the Midwest. And you guys, I think, are actually going to meet the Midwestern poet a little later on. Her name's Sojourner. She's awesome. She's way way smarter than I am. Um, and yeah, so I am the Western poet, and part of my what my job is is basically to like spread poetry around and show you like how much I love poetry because obviously I love poetry a lot. And judging by the fact that you guys are all here right now with me, I would hope that at least for some of you, that's that's also the case with you. So um, we also we have a lot of people here today, so I'm just gonna dive right in without having to without learning names. Is that okay with everyone? Because yeah. yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot of you. But um, so you all know my name. Um, I'm gonna give out my email at the end if you ever want to talk to me like individually, and then, then I'm sure we can get a more private introduction then. But for now, so let's turn to um, the poem that I included, the one by Billy Collins, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen. So tell me if you can see it. Yeah. yeah. It's really small. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have um, it. yeah, you have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so who wants to volunteer to read this? Who's where's my reader at? <laughs> I'll read it. Perfect. Okay, sweet. Wait, where are you? Look noble person. See me. Wait, yeah. raise your hand. I don't I don't see you. Yeah, I'm not in the frame. Oh, awkward. <laughs> now I am. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, great. Um, thank you for agreeing to read. So um how many but first of all, have, how many of you know Billy Collins? No? <laughs> On. All right, no, 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 no. I, I promised myself I wouldn't be like the poetry snob. Yeah, no. <laughs> Billy Collins is um he was the the uh, national poet laureate uh, a few years back. Really cool, really accessible poet. Um, Sojourner, who, as I said, you're gonna meet in a little bit. She she met him, and he's a 
by all accounts, a very cool guy. And um, this is a poem that I thought really sums up what I wanted to get across in this, um, in this little workshop. So this is one of his most famous poems, and it's called Introduction to Poetry. So um, whenever you're ready. Yeah. I ask that to take a poem and hold it up to the light with a color slide, or press an ear against the side. I say drop a mouse into a poem and watch him probe his way out, or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walls for a light switch. I want them to water ski across the surface of a poem, waving at the author's name on the shore. But all they want to do is tie the poem to a chair with rope and torture a confession out of it. They begin beating it with a hose to find out what it really means. Ouch. Okay. Um, great. Beautifully read. Thank you so much. Um, what, what's your name, by the way? Nicole. Nicole? Great. Thank you, Nicole. Um, so that is by Billy Collins. It's included in a lot of, at the beginning of a lot of poetry anthologies. Um, like, does any of it, anyone think why? Like, who, who can give me, like, just a preliminary interpretation? And I understand this poem is really sort of about er over-interpretation, so I'm not going to get too deep into this, So, because that, that would be pretty ironic. But um, who can sort of like tell me what this is about? Yeah, hand raised. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> what I thought the poem meant was that he was just saying, like, you take a poem, you learn what it has to deal with, and like sometimes it's really frustrating because you don't know what to say about it, or mm -hmm. what it means. No? Yeah, exactly. And um, sometimes, like, poetry is fundamentally subjective, right? Does, does everyone know like, what that means? It's, poetry is not something that can be quantified. It's not something that has one right or wrong answer. And there's a tendency, I think, especially in, in schools, and I'm, I'm not accusing any of this, Miss Meany. No, absolutely not. Um, you're, you're a wonderful lady. Um, <laughs> I just, uh, no, 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 no. I, that, that wasn't sarcasm. I have no idea what goes on in the English classrooms. Um, I'm just saying, in general, this is probably true of my English class, actually, which is what frustrates me a lot. Um, there tends to be a, like, there's a tendency for, for teachers to over-explicate poems, you know, to, to, like, beat them to death with a chair, sort of, um, to try and do, dig one concrete meaning out of it, and in doing so, sort of, like, ruin that sense of, like, joy and discovery that poems have, which I think makes them so special. So what we're going to do today is basically work more on the creative side of things. So I don't know, like, how much poetry writing have you guys done in class? Like, Old Guard? Yeah? Have you guys written anything for yourselves? Yes. Yeah. OK, great. So that's what we're going to be doing today, rather than all that interpretation. So we're going to do a preliminary exercise just to get everyone warmed up called the Exquisite Corpse. So that's, that sounds pretty morbid, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's actually pretty old, and it's not as nearly as morbid as it sounds. Basically, so you all got um, a starting line when you walked in, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Everyone got one? Okay. So what I want you to do is to take out, um, does everyone have paper? If not, you can just write on the back of the packet. <laughs> so everyone just take, take out a piece of paper that you can fold. You can do it in your notebook, too. <laughs> Okay, so this is the exclusive corpse. Basically, what I want everyone to do is, at the top of that paper, write down the line you were given. So just take a second and do that. So copy it down. Okay, um, everyone finished? Yeah? Okay, cool. So the next thing... <laughs> Random bursts of laughter. Do I have, do I have something on my face? And tell me. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You can tell me. Yeah. Okay, um, so 
what the next thing I want you to do is to write your own line. So basically, write as if you were continuing whatever poem this is. And these these lines are completely random. I think I picked one of them off a soup can in my kitchen. Um, and then there are some others that are like famous opening lines from poems, and there are some that are like story prompts and and just from everywhere. So what I want you to do is to write one line as if you were continuing that poem. Okay, my friend has a question. <laughs> yeah. What's up? She has a word and she doesn't know what it means. Okay, yeah, sure. What's up? <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> what word? G Y R E. G O oh, uh, gyre. Wait, okay. Um, extra credit. Can anyone tell me a uh, first line turning and turning in the widening gyre? Second coming, W B E. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, who is who is that? Wait. Wait, I see Hold on. Oh. <laughs> All right, I, I still can't see you, but you get the bullet points of the day. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, sorry. Sorry for the distraction. So um, a, a gyre is like um, the center of a, of a twirling mechanism. So turning and turning and the widening gyre. It's a, like a, a funnel or a vortex or something. Um, like a, you know, imagine like a storm, basically, and the gyre is the center of that storm to gyrate, to spin. Yeah, but um, so is everybody else more or less written their lines? <laughs> yeah. One line. Yeah, one line below the starting line that you were given. All right, everyone set? Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Um, so now this is where it might get a little complicated. So what I want you to do is fold the paper so that the line above the line you just writ you just wrote, you can't see it. So fold it so that only the line you just wrote is like what's what appears on the paper. Right. Wait, the first line or the one you just wrote? The first you, line. The line you just wrote. So the first line shouldn't be seen anymore. You should fold it so that you can't see that first line. So just, like, the only thing that you should see on the paper now is the line that you just wrote, the second line of the poem. <laughs> what does that say? It says, I'm one, your line. Fold. <laughs> All right. So... Um, here's the next thing we're gonna do. Everyone find a buddy, a partner. If if you want, I can like you can pass them down to your right. But we're gonna trade like trade sheets. So everyone trade them around. Okay. Now everyone has a different a different piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. So now write another line. And then just like raise your head or like raise your hand or something when you're finished. Yeah. So for for everyone who is finished, the next thing I want you to do is do the same thing. So fold so that only your line shows. So no other lines of the poem. All right. Now does everyone sort of see what I'm getting at here? Oh my God, what 
<laughs> All right, who's finished? Yeah? Okay. One, two, three, trade. Go. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, yeah, you guys know the drill now. So fold, or we'll write, then fold, and we're going to do this once more in the interest of time, and then we're going to share these. All right, who's finished? <laughs> yeah? No, no, you still need more time? Hands up, who still needs more time? Yeah? Okay. Like, 30 more seconds, how about? All right, ready? Trade. Okay, um, so write one last line, and then when you're finished with that, so this is going to be the last line we write. So when you're finished writing your line, unfold the paper and look at the poem. And then if anyone has a good one, then, uh, then like, raise your hand and we'll read it. Oh, no. Okay, who's unfolded? Okay, who thinks who thinks their poem is is artistically worthy? <laughs> yeah, okay, wait, I see you there. So yeah, you yeah. You I, I I don't care. Rock, paper, scissors for it. <laughs> Do not go gentle into that good night. Miss Minnie is there in a room in a light. <laughs> Engulfing in the atmosphere with feelings of fright, time is passing quickly with every rush breath, and we're gasping for tomorrow and playing to yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Mrs. Minnie, I don't, I don't know how Mrs. Minnie feels about that one. But, um, but that was good. That was very good. Um, yeah, to your, to your right. Whose words these are, I think I know, a landscape painted in fluffy snow, with air chilled and frosted, frozen grass crunching under tow, stepping into a realm of war, or maybe it was beauty. Wow. Snaps. <laughs> Everyone snaps. <laughs> All right, uh, trade seeker, you guys are going to have to snap for me because I can't snap my fingers. It's not a good thing when you're a poet.
Can I vote? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 you go. And then we're going to, yeah, one more person reads, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. Okay. This is the only thing that matters, meaningful relationships, leading to broken hearts and unclosed endings. But is there ever an end? Wow. <laughs> That's heavy. So, <laughs> yeah, we're, okay, one one in the center. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. I keep changing for the future, though never knowing what's coming next. Questions are always lingering, answers are lying out of reach. Wow. Snap. Major snaps. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, can anyone tell me who that quote came from? The the starting quote? Read it again, Carolyn. I can't go back to yesterday <laughs> because I was a different person then. That's the first thing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Travers? No? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. It's not a very like known quote, but it's from Lewis Carroll. I just mentioned because I like Lewis Carroll. Alice in Wonderland. It's Alice in Wonderland. Yes. yes. I, oh, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I just know he said it. Alice in Adventures. It's Alice in Adventures. It's like the last. Yeah. So cool. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't hear half of what everyone says. It's not fair. I know you get. You have to. You guys are laughing at me. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. Now you guys will have an exquisite corpse of your very own. Cherish it. Love it. Enjoy it. Um. But yeah. So it's um. We got about 20 minutes left, and I wanna I wanna quickly run into this next um activity that we're gonna do. So now what we're gonna do is something that I found in a book once called Bot Poems, and I really like these. So I'm going to put up something on the screen that you guys don't have in your packet. So tell me if you can't see it, if it's too small. And um, But it's a poem. It's small. It's small? Oh, shoot. OK, um, let me see if I can magnify it a little bit. Um, can you see it moving? Yeah. Yeah? OK. A little to the left. OK, OK, my bad, my bad. There it is. OK. Can everyone read that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, give me another reader. Who wants to read? I can't see from there. Can anybody in the front row see enough to read? Yes. Yeah. Sammy or Caroline, you guys want to read it? Perfect. Sarah. Okay. Um, that's better. That's better. Nice and loud. Yeah, Sari Monster. You guys want to RPS today? Okay. Go ahead, Sammy. Um, a bubbling crude from below. A lava spewing, spewing up, vomiting a goo beyond petro petroleum to dollar signs for memories of dinosaurs dead and gone, pumped now at the gas stations. Drill, baby, drill until I'm gone. Bosses hit the side of the rig outside their offices miles away. Spreadsheets, bonds, and calculators, profit indicators, bank vaults, betting on the futures, pensions lost on roulette, promises, promises, but no love where barrels count, the bubbly black power is gold. Drill, baby, drill until I'm gone. The uncounted fossil hearts of reptiles and those they ate. Baby reptiles, mama and daddy. All the scaly ancestors of birds. Brown pelicans shrouded in oil. The precious juice of our cities. Drill, baby, drill until I'm gone. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much. What's what's your name? Sammy. Sammy. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Sammy. Um, so yeah, that is a poem the from off of Michael Weaver, who is a um. He's a he's an African African American poet who also works a lot in Chinese, so that's interesting. But um, this poem is I like it a lot. Um, can anyone tell me like something they noticed about like the the way it was structured? Repetition. Oh, the drill, baby, drill. Yeah. So the repetition, right? So that drill, baby, drill until I'm gone is a song lyric that he found somewhere. Drill, baby, drill until I'm gone. You can sort of hear the rhythm in it. And so he found that song lyric and used it to structure his poem. So it repeats over and over, drill, baby, drill until I'm gone, and provides sort of like a sense of you know, continuing, of, of like a flow that the poem has. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our own bot poems based on song lyrics that you guys have in your packets. So get that page out. I hope you guys appreciate my musical choice. <laughs> All right. 
So now um, everybody take like ten, seven to ten minutes basically, and um, and and write something. So if, if you need to see the example again, that's fine. But basically, what it should be is about like one or two stanzas with using one of these lyrics. They can be, it can start the poem, it can end the poem, it can be repeated in the poem, like in the example. But just like use one of these in some way, and then choose like use it to write your own poem. Hey, it's me again. How much more time do you guys think you need? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> okay. Well, we have like ten minutes left in class, right? And I want to leave a little time for Q and A. So, um, so let's try and wrap it up in like say three minutes. Okay. Does that sound good? Three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No. <laughs> 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 
How about like Una Minuto? Yeah. Um, well, is, is actually everybody done? Like most people done? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. Let's just um, let's let's just um, call it good right here. So sorry if you didn't get time to finish. Um, you can always hang on to it later. But who thinks that um, who'd want to agree? Okay. I mean, I see your hand every time. Come on. All right, Josh. <laughs> Where are you? You can. Um, Wait, sorry. Um, back in the in the second row, what, what was your name again? Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Sorry. Um, yeah, you can read next. I just let's let some somebody else go first. Yes. Yeah. You, there you are, Joss. Okay. Uh, when I was young, small and innocent, you taught me what I know, how to dream, who to be. I looked up to you more the most. But now you're gone, and I'm older. I see what I could not before. Your corruption, the Lives left behind. There's still time to change. Road your arm. Just turn it on. Come. Nice. Very, very nice. Snaps. You guys are gonna have to snap for me. I can't snap. That was awesome. <laughs> I really like the the way you integrated the lyric. Um. Yeah. So back to Rachel though. If you say Rachel in this class, there's 47 of them. So someone's okay. got to answer. No. 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 Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Actually, my girlfriend's name is Rachel, so it's it's extra confusing. So um. But but yeah. So you can. Do you want to read? Carry on as if nothing really matters. Horses chime through the silent, silent wind. Carry on as if nothing really matters. Venture through the sacred night wishing. Was it not truth but shameful lies? May I carry on as if it really matters. For the silent becomes distant in the land where love did not exist. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> the, and I notice you'd use it in a slightly different way. Like I like I like the repetition there, and I like how you sort of followed the the example more closely. And because like there's no, as I said, there's no one way to do this. You can you know you can use the lyric in any way you like. But I think that really did a lot to to like provide some structure to your poem. And I think that's actually like that's a really good use of it. So mad props, so to speak. Um, who's next? Go ahead, Kaylin. Oh, I believe in yesterday as it shakes. Making me a different person, maybe dark, maybe bright, but shows my reason why. Oh, I believe in yesterday as it helped me see another place. It brought me change even if I wanted it or not. Oh, I believe in yesterday as it proved who I am. Wait, sorry, can you say the last bit again? I can't I can't like really hear you. Oh, I believe in yesterday as it proved who I am. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. So those are the bot poems. Do you guys have fun? Yeah. 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 So basically, I use these like these two exercises, and I like them a lot. Uh, like I don't know. I like doing them. Um, I wrote my own bot poem right here. Um, but I use these as sort of like an example for to like show people how inspiration like you need to grab it when you can, and it can come from anywhere. So like I don't know how many of you keep a journal. Do Do any of you do that? Any of you write down stuff? Yeah. Okay, that's a that's a good instinct. I don't do it as much as I should, but that's like for a writer, that's so important in like 
finding inspiration in your everyday life, like finding it on the radio, finding it with your friends, you know, as these two might show. Um, but just finding these little nuggets of, of poetry in the everyday life and, you know, translating it onto the page, like that's something I think that is, is a really important instinct. And, you know, it's fun. And you have fun while doing it. So, read yeah. Yours. Sorry? <laughs> I said, read us something of yours. Read us some. Oh, oh sh really? Like something, it, <laughs> you know, something I just read? <laughs> um, You're the poet. <laughs> you guys are all poets. You just wrote poetry. That makes you poet. <laughs> You're the recognized poet. <laughs> oh shush. Okay. Um. Hold on. Uh. Let me pull up a short poem because I don't want to read anything long because I want to. I don't have time for questions at the end. Um. I don't know. What do you guys want to hear? You want to hear something happy, depressing? <laughs> That's like a million words. I can't. I can't process. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Joe, explain. We want angst. We want angst. You want angst? We love teen angst. I don't know, know if I want to. I don't know if I want to do angst this early in the morning. I mean, actually, it's like eleven by now, but still. Okay. Um. Morbid thing you've ever Why does poetry have to be angst? Why does, why does that have to be a thing? Can't there be happy poetry? Don't you guys like Lewis Carroll? It was just requested that you read the most morbid thing you've ever read. <laughs> um. Okay, the, see, it's 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 hard because the most morbid thing I ever wrote is really really long, so I don't really want to I don't really want to break into that right now. Morbid is long. Um, <laughs> let's see, writing. Angst is um, long. Yeah. All right, you guys can you guys can be <laughs> anxious. I'm gonna read something I like. All right, so this is this is a poem that I wrote and it's and it's pretty nice and short. So I, I hope you guys like it. And this is called Syzygy. What is it called? Syzygy. Syzygy. So, okay, it's a it's a hard word. The the word is like, can someone write this on a board somewhere? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the word is S Y Z Y G Y. Syzygy. Yeah, it's a word. It's my favorite word. What does it mean? It means it um it refers to the alignment of planets. Yeah, it's a pretty cool word. So here it is. Like syzygy, we collided in the darkness, ricocheted, twirled, aligned, helped along by gravity, and were gone when the moon showed its face. I told you the word at dawn and had to write it on a notepad before you would believe me. Many things sound impossible before you put your tongue into them. Listen. Feel it in the roots of your teeth. Let the Z and G crackle like the static on an old TV set, turning sound galvanic, making atoms tremble in ecstasy until they leap skyward form rows, and hang in the void to hear the planets sing with one burning voice. Let consonants carry you away. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm not stepping for myself. I'm stepping for all you. <laughs> OK. Well, OK. We seem to have found ourselves at the end of our time together with like two minutes left. So apologies for that. But so if everyone would turn to the, the sort of like list of, of resources, So this is my like hit list. Um, I, I hope you guys got the abridged version because my unabridged version is a bunch of like Seattle stuff because I live in Seattle. But um, this is all the things that are that are on a national level. So at the top there, you'll see the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Big recommendation there. That's how I became a national student poet. Um, but e even if that's not what you're aiming for, and there are only five of us each year, so um, but like no matter what, please please submit to these. They're awesome. They're for all genres: art, writing, like visual art. Photography, poetry, fiction, humor, science fiction, anything. And basically, you, you imagine it, they have it. And you can submit, and you can win regional awards. And then if you win a regional award, then you go on to get adjudicated at, adjudicated at, the, national level, at the national level. And then like, if you win a national award, you get to go to New York. And there's like this super cool party. And they get like celebrities. Like last year, they got like, well, when I went, they got Meryl Streep. Last like, year, they got Usher. It's just awesome. And, yeah, it is a really, really cool program with a lot of opportunities for young artists. And that's and again, it's how I became a national student poet. So that one gets my top billing. And then all everything else on there is also 100% legit. Um, definitely stuff to check out. And yeah, so if any of you have any interest in writing, um, writing poetry, writing anything else, um, 
yeah, just just being creative on the page. Then also feel free to email me. My uh, my email address is down there at the bottom. Find me on Facebook. I don't like that's cool. Um, yeah, and if you want more information about NSPP, there's also a link to that. So yeah, um, I think that is that is time. But does anyone have any like, any, like questions as you're heading out? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure, guys. Wait, are you, are you sure no one has any questions? Like anything? Yeah. Are you sure? You can email them. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>